Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Our rookie schools are paramilitary. Um, we believe that uh, attention to detail is is imperative in the fire service. You know, the, the minute things have to be taken care of. You know, we are hard on them from their uniforms, the way they look, to uh, the way they address us, um, as the way they uh, address themselves. Um, we make sure that every little detail is checked. We just feel like that attention to detail in the fire service is gonna keep them out of trouble in the long run and help them be successful throughout their careers. Clark County Fire Department runs a 22 week fire academy. Um, this particular academy is run from July to December. Um, not the most ideal time of year, but there's no way around the heat in Las Vegas, so you might as well get used to it. It's a very intense program. Um, we spend the first quarter mostly in the book work and then uh, doing some uh, PT in the morning, um, trying to get them physically prepared. And then the next quarter, we do a lot more uh, our basics, um, ladders, uh, hose lays. You know, my philosophy is you can't get enough, uh, you can't throw enough ladders, you can't pull enough hose, um, you can't do enough searches and stuff. We get them really good with the basics in the, the fire academy. Um, the second half of the academy is more just fine tuning and polishing. And we spend, uh, like I said, an exorbitant amount of time on our basic techniques. They'll spend over 200 hours throwing ladders in this academy. I mean, it's just, you know, you, your bread and butter stuff, you need to be proficient at, it will keep you out of trouble. The recruits will be wearing their turnout gear while we're training. They wear their gear, you know. When we first start off, it's limited, but we work up until they're in their full turnouts, on air, training in these conditions. Um, there's no two ways about it, it's hot. But we do uh, gradually build up and we make sure they're acclimated. We monitor them very closely to make sure that they don't get themselves into trouble hydration-wise or anything of that nature. If we see something, we sit them, and, and that's it for the day. But more often than not, they're building the acclimation. We're, we're increasing the level um, every week a little bit more, building them up and getting them used to their gear. It's, it's imperative that they know their limitations and what their gear is designed to do for them and that they're used to it. Everything's about acclimation and getting used to your equipment. Our PT uh, program is designed for uh, muscle and uh, physical endurance more than strength. Um, we're trying to get them to where they can work in their turnouts and stuff for three or four hours. That's our goal. Um, so we do a half hour cardio every day and then we'll go into a circuit training kind of program where they'll do push-ups, they'll do uh, pull-ups, dips. Um, we, we do a lot of core exercises because it always seems to be our biggest area in the fire services back injuries and stuff. So we spend a lot of time doing um, planks or sit-ups or crunches and stuff like that. But it's a circuit. We have six stations. They spend five minutes at each station. It takes about a half hour. So you got a half hour of cardio, a half hour of circuit training. It only takes an hour, but it's a great physical workout. And uh, it uh, really seems to help us as we progress through the academy. Um, we don't have a lot of injuries and stuff like that. And we want to really promote uh, fitness in the fire service just because our number one uh, thing that we have to concern ourselves with is cardiovascular health in the fire service. It's our biggest killer. It's one of uh, our foundations in the fire service. We want to give them the best foundation when they leave rookie school to be successful firefighters. And we believe that uh, physical fitness is just paramount in that. It's going to make everything better in the long run. They're going to be able to think clearer, everything. It's just, uh, it's, every firefighter should be in good shape.